Hello everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a multiple authentication in Laravel 8. So, I have is installed Laravel 8 in my system and here we have the two login, one for the blogger, second for the admin. So, how this is working, I am going to show you a realistic example. So, this is my, this is my uh, blogger account. So, I am going to account from my blogger account which is blogger at the rate mail.com and I'm going to put my password then I'm going to submit here so look now this is dashboard for the blogger and again I'm going to click uh, logout button I'm going to redirect here let me again inside the my project which is blogger look we again redirected here so we can log in same we have the second login which one for the admin I'm going to login from the admin I'm going to put ID and password which is admin admin something let me click on this look we have the admin I was something so we have the two, two dashboard here and uh, different user basically so we can operate like this one so again I'm going to click logout button so how this is working and uh, so first of all I'm going to show you my code here I have written and uh, I'm expecting from you guys, you know, how to install Laravel 8 so you can install from your side and how to create controller, how to create a migration, how to create a mo model. I'm not, not going to explain you step by step here, but um, I'm going to overview how this is working. So, hope so. If you don't know how to install Laravel, how to create a model, how to create a controller, so first of all, you go uh, watch my previous video I have already uploaded how to install Laravel how to create a model something so let me show you I'm going to minimize this my terminal again so how this is working is a very simple process to uh, first of all once you install the Laravel it then again you need to configure your database so once you configure the database then you need to create two migration first for the blogger second for the you admin so once once you created the migration let me show you this is my migration file so i have updated like this name email password edited something and token id so i have updated here for the ad blogger same things i have uh, added for the admin once you add it then you create a create a model so how to create a model something php artisan make colon uh, model or model name so model name we have the admin and we have the blogger so let me show you we have the admin this is my model look which is inside of the models folder which is presented in the app models and inside the models i have ad added this kind of code okay so guard we have the admin admins means we have the table uh, names with the admins and we have fillable uh, we need to protect it here write the protected something fillable which is name email and password okay so we have added same things i have added for the uh, blogger this is admin again we have the second model which is blogger second same things i have added here okay so once we have added everything is here then we need to migrate the code so you can write a php artisan migrate after running the migration command then i am going to show you my blog i have already written here so here i have added step by step everything so so here again i am going to show you this is the dependency you need to install your system once you successfully install the system then what you need to do uh, create a applications like this running this particular command once you uh, hit this command then you go in inside of the project and configure your database configuration setting and create a migrations from the admin i have already uh, explained you so this is a step to write a migration command once you uh, added the migration command then you need to put like this one and whatever whatever field you want from your side just put your code and once you have added and again same uh, because uh, I, I have added for the blogger and admin same kind of step so you can uh, write the same syntax here also which field you want to add in your uh, table so we have the name you have the name email password editor so you can add in your database table in column something okay so we have like this fields and again I'm going to again we can migrate the uh, database once you migrated the database you need to create a model I have already explained you about the model um, we have the model two models right now blogger second is admin okay once successfully your model created successfully then what you need to do here again 
so we have the model uh, name which is blogger and this is a extending basically authenticatable something so you need to write this lines of code okay so once you add it in your model then what you need to do here just scroll down and also don't forget to write here authentication uh, purpose so we need to add board and provider so how how this is possible guard and provider so we have the two guards here right you can check i'm going to show you my in my code let me show you my code which is configure uh, auth.php okay we have the providers and we have uh, let me show you guards so inside of the guards i have added users and second one uh, admin so the, look we have the providers below i will show you we have the providers users and uh, sorry admin and bloggers so this uh, I have added this particular lines of code providers and driver is session so you need to put here so we have the provider which name is blogger let me show you we have the blogger look this is provider inside the provider let me scroll down we have the providers which is uh, blogger and second in admin this admin the uh, this particular model extending particular this one uh, app models and admin classes and we need to put here basically path this is a path our models we have the created already i have explained you okay so once you added the uh, line of the code bunch lines of code then what you need to do just scroll down and we ha I, I, I have already explained you about the providers what is providers and how to create a provider something okay so we have explained then again you need to configure your mo uh, login module so let me go inside my login controller i am going to my login controller app HTTP login controller which is presented in the control inside the controllers folder so here we have uh, login controllers so what I'm doing here I'm going to show you from the step by step so we have the uh, let me show you why mm, let me show you controllers name is space is auth why this is path is might be wrong okay so we are using this one let me explain you about this one and we have the login controller and inside the login controllers we have the created uh, if redirect protected redirect in the home page and we have the constructor we have the created uh, because we i have applied here middleware so admin and blogger and guess something log on okay so we have the so uh, two function basically uh, for the admin uh, first for the login purpose if uh, we are showing the page uh, which is presented the auth login.php this uh, page basically login dot uh, blade dot php and inside of the this page we are passing uh, array function basically we are passing url and url name is basically admin i will explain in inside the blade dot php what we doing here about the url okay so, so uh, just guess uh, don't forget to uh, write now this one we are passing the data I will explain in in uh, view file which is a login dot blade dot php okay also we have admin once user the hitting that we are uh, validating the data is correct or not something then if everything is fine then we are redirecting to this authentication purpose we have uh, added inside of the uh, let me show you we have uh, mid uh, sorry we have the http folder inside the http folders we have the middleware and here we are adding some files which is a redirector redirection purpose and also um, if anyone hitting the particular admin then we're checking the from the guard if everything is fine or not something if it's fine then we are redirecting here same for the blogger and same for the guest also i have created for the user purpose but don't, uh, don't uh, we are using this one okay so once everything is fine then we are redirecting to next okay so I have added this one second one I have added inside of the login authentications for the middle pair guest if anyone guest is coming then we are redirecting to log out something and again uh, some exception purpose I have added handler inside the uh, app exceptions and handler okay so if unauthorized access then we are redirecting to uh, this error messages basically in JSON form is and also we are redirecting to login if anyone hitting here is not uh, like then we are redirecting here it's not validated okay same for the blogger and same for the for the we are only 
exception basically okay so once everything is fine then we redirect it to admin page same for um, i have added the blogger this is form basically you are uploading from here we passing the data uh, url for the blogger same functions we have different functions we are doing same stuff like um, like admin i have already explained we are checking and we are attempting if everything is fine then we redirect it to blogger um, url okay and also we passing email okay with input tag if anyone hitting checking the then we're passing it directly again in uh, inside the input field so sometimes suppose if you fill in the form and uh, you submitted the form and redirected to the same page but your data go, uh, gone lost something so we passing uh, here so your data will same here the uh, suppose if you put an email id and you submitted the form and if uh, redirect to the same page any purpose if you're validating or not correct something then your email id will available on the same field so don't forget so we can pass the data like this one okay and um, once successfully added i'm going to show you a register controller inside the register controller we need to implement like this model once you implemented models inside of the your register controller okay so why we are adding this one let me scroll down my project first of all okay we are again here redirecting to home page if everything's fine and um, we have the uh, we have the same construction uh, constructor we have uh, seen in login controller also and let me scroll down here and here we have the page if someone hitting there for the registration we are passing uh, returning the pay, uh, register form which is the auth dot register okay and we are again passing from here one array which is the url and here we have the admin second form we have the blogger okay and scroll down if anyone uh, filling the form hope so you already know about the how to filling the form something if you don't know how to get a simple form you can watch out my previous video i have already uploaded so because i'm skipping this process because uh, if i explained you line by line it will take more uh, five or six videos so i'm skipping the stuff okay if anyone hitting the create a uh, model um, function something then what we're doing here we're validating the data everything everything if uh, name is required string maximum whatever you want to fill you can add here okay so we are checking admins uh, this is unique field or not something this is a validation purpose i have added here if everything, if everything is fine then we are creating the data name we have the email we have the password something and we're using hash something so because we can pass the data secu security purpose so we need to implement this line okay so don't forget to write this one and if we validation you want you need to add as a validator here okay and again scroll down then again everything is fine then we are redirecting to again login page okay login admin which is the url basically same stuff i have added in blogger also okay same stuff so hope so this is clear right now might be and if you have any issue please guys please put your comment below definitely i will try to resolve your query also okay if you have any issue in laravel php coding data any kind of framework so you can put your comment below okay and uh, let me scroll down again everything is fine is here hope so you cleared out your, your doubt is clear now and again mm, we have the middleware something i will explain you how uh, we have the authenticator already i explained you let me go inside of the my project which is uh, views file basically okay so we have created the files and um, don't forget if you have any issue how this is working you can uh, read from my blog okay so i have added i explained you about the this uh, controller and also i explained the register controller and uh, let me scroll down then again you need to uh, create a some uh, package if you want something like uh, use uh, user point of view you can write the this command okay uh, so this is the dependency you need to uh, require the uh, you need to install ui package something once successfully installed you can also write the for the authentications like register sign up something you will get the form and this one also the one and uh, once everything is fine then you need to uh, go inside of your resource view and authentic uh, auth login something and just look here what i'm doing here we have applied uh, we are sending the data from the controller and uh, url array in same in login also and register also okay once you pass the data from uh, your controller we are printing here okay look we have the printing here so what uh, are the benefits something here once you pass the data in here then let me show you in practical way then might be more cl clear for you let me uh, we have the auth and we have login something 
let me scroll ever and suppose if set uh, why i'm doing here your login basically suppose if if you're hitting from the uh, blogger and admin something we are calling same page and we extending we're getting data from the url and we're printing data here so because we're passing the data from the functions we're printing here hope so this is clear and uh, again we have the form here okay inside of the form if anyone hitting from the uh, admin then your your routes will be something like login admin okay so and uh, by default is login if you're hitting the blog or something your uh, login blogger okay then we'll be passed data in login blogger something and we have the email id here and scroll down we have password also so if anyone hitting the wrong password we're uh, printing error message here okay for the validation purpose and let me scroll down again if you want to remember something you can write like this one checkbox also if you want to apply something you can write like this one and i'm going to escaping this one and we have the login button okay again forget something if you want to forget password reset something you can uh, perform this kind of stuff also and we have the login here and again we have the register button so register button also we have uh, added something like this one and hope so you know about the how to uh, create a form something so i'm skipping this process so let me scroll down everything is fine then hope so this is clear now and again i will scroll down again so you need to create this particular offline because if you want to redirect admin in blogger or home something you need to write a code something i have already written in html format uh, this is a basic example guys uh, and uh, we have the resource we have the views and admin something you can uh, check out from my blog everything okay i have written so i am going to explain your routes how routes working in in project in this project basically so we have the web.php inside of the web.php i have added this line of code for the login and registration why this is important if you know how to uh, how routes working in laravel it might be this is clear and um, because in laravel 8 we need to use as a namespace something whenever you want to call controller something then don't forget to write this lines of code okay so now again we have the uh, in array format we need to pass if you're not using resource something okay if you're using resource you need to you go to need to write like array something you can put like in normal format okay so here we have the login admin then we're calling this controller and this function once everything is fine we also apply here middleware okay then again we are applying the middleware so we have created middleware like this one auth blogger and auth admin something once everything is fine then we are redirecting to this particular pages whatever page you want to authenticate you can write here okay so and i have created for the logout here at the get method okay we calling again we have the, uh, applied the uh, inside of the logout functions then we are hitting with this particular uh, functions so hope so this is clear and once everything is fine you can check out from the redirect authenticated i have already explained uh, explained you about this stuff and uh, let me scroll down i have already already explained on the exception handler and everything is fine and just write the command which is the php artisan sir once everything is fine already you've seen that how this is working guys and uh, hope so everything is fine and if you want this code you can also watch out from my uh, from my uh, github repository which is uh, github.com let me go inside of github.com slash uh, siddharth 018 this is my uh, basically repository you can find out from here click on the repo and here i have got multiple uh, projects something if you want something multiple authenticated you just click on the multiple authentication something i have added about the multiple authentication here also i added the step by step what you need to do here just follow this uh, this step and uh, your, your project will uh, find and uh, if you have any doubt guys please comment on comment section definitely i will try to resolve a query also if you have any issue any programming language like python and node.js and php any any particular framework just put your comment below i will try to resolve a query also